Sleep Time's Over Season 8, Episode 3, cuz. Where are the Hawaiians? Where the Hawaiians? Or, where are the Hawaiians? Oh, well, I've seen Hawaiians. Huh? What? 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 Nah. nah. What? Why? What? Who? Nah. Hey, you. Oh, yeah. For real. Hey, excuse me. Hey, see Hawaiians. Hey, what? See Hawaiians. Here's an underrated word local people say. You know, I don't really know if this pertains to me, you know. I don't know if this really going to pertain to what That's we're trying to do. That's when the Hawaiians, they try to sound like, you know, a little bit. You've heard that before, right? I pretend. I mean, in the news, like when they a, interview a Hawaiian oh, in the news. Maybe that's, maybe that's just the, pertain. the local way of just trying to, like, you know. Does this pertain to you? Upsell the situation. You're trying to upsell me. Oh, bro. Pertaining. You're trying to upsell something yeah, for I me. I don't know if I've ever heard pertaining, bro. I've heard that on the news. They talk to the local people. And, you know, I really don't know if this really gonna really speaks to the community and if this pertains to us. How's that? That's pretty good. Is that pretty good? Bad, really? Bro, I'm, I'm touched. That's pretty good. I don't They're know. Chelsea says our pigeon is terrible. You know what? But you know what? Because she works in Nanaku. You know, you cannot compare Nanaku to Macaulay right there because <laughs> we're in different worlds, bro. This is all I know. This is in my blood. That's okay? That's true. This is what I know. All right? Sue me. Oh, Don't fire me, I'm already fired. I'm sue you for How's what? That? Yeah. yeah right. Sue me for what? This is gonna get really ridiculous. Really okay. Anyway, you have, you have, you have take topics. time, waste time. You have the topics today. Get the topics. So you're bro. gonna throw out the topics for what? Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. NBA rookie teams got announced. Okay. Take time, take time. <sighs> Bro. We thanks. We know at least three of them from who's gonna be on there. Right. Give me the five. Five. Donovan Mitchell. Right. Ben Simmons. From the Mormons yep. of Utah. Right. Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. From the Guidos of Boston. Correct. I'm trying to get all five with some different verbiage. Just gonna keep it. Ben basic. Siemens from the Bo Broken Bells of Philadelphia. Okay. Like that one. Uh, Kyle Kuzma. Yeah. From the right, I give the key to the city to the porno stars of Hollywood, Los wow. Angeles. Okay. Just heard that on the news. I got it. Shout I agree with that. Out. I agree with all of these, okay. by the way. And Laurie Market. I agree with that from one. From Jordan Still Rules the City. Yes. Chicago Bulls. Marketing. Marketing. Yes. Marketing. Chicago from Bulls. Arizona, I think he was. I don't watch college ball. Yeah. So the all five, that's I agree. So for that. Woo! And then uh, this, okay, I don't. What? I agree on this. I agree on the second team, but do you agree that Alonzo Ball should have made the team, the second team? He was injured half, most of the year. So why is he in the second team? There was probably not enough guys that really did anything. So John Collins. All right. Josh Jackson. Okay. Dennis Smith Jr. Is that Dennis Smith's son? Dennis Smith from Dennis the Denver Broncos. No, Dennis, Dennis Smith, Smith from, was the Dennis Smith on Denver Broncos. Was that is that related at all? I do not know that one. I would not be surprised if they're using Dennis Smith Jr. Oh, okay. But there was a Dennis Smith. There's probably a lot of Dennis Smiths. Yeah, that's true. But okay. the, the Dennis Smith I remember is the cornerback from, or the safety from Denver Broncos. See, I, I was like, you got it. I knew there was another Dennis Smith somewhere in professional sports. But yeah. maybe you're the one. Yeah. Probably. Okay, that. Bogdan. Bogdan. Blah, 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 blah. Great. Come yeah. on, Oyen. What is it? But it's not Oyen. Bogdanovich. Bro. Bogdanovich. Or whatever. Bogdan Bogdanovich. Come where's, on. Who's he play for? I forget already, bro. He, oh, shoot. Anyway. You agree with the Nets? I, I don't agree with Lonzo being there. Yeah, I don't know why. You probably don't have people. Lonzo is is good. I'm not rating him off, but he's too injured. And but take time, waste time. Get rid of him or keep him. If they're trying to get LeBron, they better get rid of him. Get rid of him, bro. You're gonna who, have to get rid of him. Who takes his ace? <sighs> I'm not writing off him yet. He's. I think yeah, his potential young, be yeah, good. Yeah. But it's the package that. The overall package that right. comes when you trade well, for this guy. Well, has been silent pretty well. It's pretty, pretty uh, chill, chill. Well, because right right he hasn't been playing, and then the Lakers are out, you know. So uh, yeah, he's, he's like laying low. He's, he's selling his bottled water. His bottled water now? You didn't see this? It's like oh. 300 bucks a bottle. What's inside there? Sweat. Big bottle of brand sweat. Yes. What the heck, brah? Anybody out there, this, can, you, can you give us information on where to get the big bottle brand shirt? I'm trying to find this. I even sent my longtime close personal friend, Corey Love. Hey, there you go. He was in LA. He was trying to find this. I did too. You were trying to find this. He went to Staples Center, oh. thinking they would have it in Staples Center. Nope. They did not. Mm. Now that is pretty interesting that they didn't even have it in Staples wow. Center. Wow. So please, anyone, I would like to get a shirt. Yeah. Still yet. 
Yeah. Hopefully we can get it free for Christmas or something. No, oh, thanks. So yes, that's that's a good good uh, roster for the first second. Yeah, man, that's a that's one of the dopest um, rookie teams. It's a good rookie team, yes. I mean, that could be psh, put that team together. Whoa. Well, put that team together and then wait five years. Yeah. Then it'll be well, they, I think dominant. That team, put that team together, it'll be consistent conference finals. I'm not gonna, now. Claim that. Not now. Dude, these guys right here? Nah, I think so. 40, 40, 45 wins. Guarantee make it to, out of the... They'll make it to the playoffs. Yeah. Oh, guarantee. Like seven seed, six seed. Right. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, That's, next. Yes, we Keep got moving it. along. The NFL. They set a ruling across the board saying that now when you play the national anthem, you have to stand. And okay. if you don't stand, you have to go into the locker room and stay there. Okay. Take time, waste time. Right. Can, no can. Okay, we'll take time with this one. Okay. 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 So you, you, you see what if we read between the lines of what's Okay, going what's on. the lines, bro? I see middle fingers. That's all I see, bro. Oh, well, NFL took a hit last year. Right. A big hit financially because of this whole thing. Yeah. People boycotting, people turning it off. Yeah. So they had to do what they had to do, and this is like, hey, this is on our time. This is NFL time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Players, you gotta, you do this on your own personal time. You're costing us money. Yeah. It all comes down to money. Money, of course. They're losing money. Yeah. They gotta go to it. You gotta stand up. If you don't want, stay in the back. Yeah. No more of this controversial stuff, ready. Right. Because you're costing us fans. NFL's fans are dwindling. Yeah. You gotta. This is damage control. Straight up. That's Wait, it. So you think that's a good answer to everything? Yeah. No choice. There's no choice. You, you can't continue on with the path of saying, you guys can do whatever you want. Yeah, because they're not going to get rid of the National Anthem. They're not going to get rid of the National it. Football League. You're not going to happen. AFL, NFL, CFL. That's part of all sports. USFTL. That's part Hello. of it. So, it's f strictly financial deal, damage control situation. Nah, I th I'm, I'm cool with it, dude. Because it's like, if you weren't going to stand up, or you're gonna need, you might as well stay in the locker room, right? Stay in the locker room, you have that option. At least it's not yeah. like, we're forcing you all yeah. to stand up. You have to stand up no matter yeah. what. You can go in the back. So who's gonna be the donkey that comes out and doesn't stand? He's gonna be a total idiot if he does that. He's gonna get fined, suspended. To me, just, yeah, just stay in there, stay in the tunnel, wait. He's, he's breaking NFL policy, breaking NFL rules. That's right. like a job. Yeah. He's breaking job rules. Right, 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 right. So whoever does that is a damn fool. Yeah. Because I know I, when I was teaching, Substituting, I was teaching within a federal, a federal contract, so blah, blah, blah. Mm. We couldn't talk about religion. That's fair enough. Right? Because you don't want to be like, I'm, I'm like Baha'i or Buddhist. No, right. You're preaching Buddhist, well, but it, it's in the work. Wu Tang Shaolin things, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's a work. So, like me being a Christian, I understand. I'm not going to go and like, I'm working. Yeah. This is what I do. Correct. Like, if I bump into my students outside of work, Correct. Go ahead, bro. Outside of work, you guys can talk any kind. You guys can yeah. talk religion, talk politics, yeah. can talk about the sex, can talk about the drugs, can yeah. talk about smoke the drug, liquids, the drugs. Yeah, wetness, whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> Dryness, whatever you want to do. Okay? But it's in the work force. Uh, this is a job. Right. They are working. Yeah. That's it. They own it. That's it. Right? They, they own it, yes. Get so, well. okay, take time, waste time. Yeah. We'll. Um, what's his name ever get a job again as a quarterback, starting quarterback? Well, with this new rule, I don't think so. That's it. He's already been blackballed, which I don't like saying that term, but yeah. it's sad because he's he can still play. Yeah. And he's literally just, these owners are just shying away from this situation. Right. Didn't Seattle want to pick him up? Seattle want to pick him up, and then you just don't hear anything after that. Yeah. Baltimore wanted to pick him up. You don't hear anything after that. Uh. So, or, or you can look at it this way. Because of this ruling that now they don't have to worry about people forcefully s sitting down. Maybe he can get a job knowing yeah. now the fact, okay, just go on the back. But he keeps staying Maybe. and he feels like he's a starting quarterback. One thing at a time, bro. Yeah, seriously. Just get on the roster. Yeah, get on the roster, bro. And then go from there. So that's, that's the thing with Kaepernick. He's, he's, he's still good, but then his mindset still, he has a little bit of arrogance still. He's got to realize, you know what job? He's got to play the game to get himself back in on a roster right. so he can claim that he's a starting quarterback again. Right. He's not even playing. Yeah. So he got to cut that back, cut the arrogance back. Yeah, Freestyle right. topic, bro. Yeah. Start something. Okay. Johnny Manziel, take time, waste time, has joined the CFL, right? 
But the funny part about it is he joined the team where the head coach is. Wait, let me get this up. June Jones, bruh. Take time, waste time. June Jones coaches one druggie to the next. <laughs> I I think Old Brandon to No, I think he, I think no, I really do believe like he <clears throat> he he takes it as a challenge. Right. Cause even Devon Best, right? Yeah. He went back on the drugs, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like even he was a problem child. Grace Mullins, you he, know, he pulls all these problem dudes, child. yeah. And he makes them successful. All so right, I think well, if he can pull this Manziel off. That'll be his greatest feat yet. And get him back into the league? I don't know about that one, but if he can get something out of him for CFL, that's I a success story. Guarantee, but he got to beat Jeremiah Masoli. Remember Jeremiah Masoli? Jeremiah from where? From he's from Hawaii. He was from St. Louis. I think he played at Oregon. Okay. Yep. And, and he is the current starting quarterback. He brought June Jones. He stick with the Polynesians, bro. He, well, he called Brennan. No, oh, yeah. I mean, well, stick with the Polynesians. The Polynesians stick with the Hawaiians. Right. Well, this will be this will be his greatest test yet, and this will obviously be the last shot. Maybe after for this. Manziel. Will, for Manziel. For oh, Manziel. After yeah. this would be like Arena League. <laughs> Go figure. He should do well in Arena League too. Oh, but shoot. We'll, let's just see. It's yeah. all wait and see, but this is his last shot. It's a, it's the best. He's got the best coach to do it. Yeah. Oh, totally. June Jones is the best coach for him. Yeah, yeah. He so because he knows how to like take his problem shot. Right. Right. All right. What we got? Uh, can't wait for that. Favorite. That's my favorite CFL team. Great. Shout out to uh, Chad Owens. Great. Okay. Here we go. More crazy Holly kids shooting them up, bro. Shoot them up, shoot them up, now, y'all. That's horrible to say. Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill, yeah. From the what soundtrack? Uh, shoot them up, shoot juice. Correct. Ah. Correct. Okay, seventeen-year-old Texas shot ten people. Yep. Freaking socks. But they're the dad was saying that's unlike him. It was in his guns, the dad's guns, and. He felt like his son was getting bullied by the football team, by all these people. Well, I thought it wasn't because of girls, like he was getting shafted by girls. Or oh, something. I mean, he was shafted by girls. I, well, I read this like the read it on top of Hawaii oh. Goes Now. Oh, okay, okay. So a bullied, bullying cl- classic girls. story. Yeah, all of the typical stuff. Right. This by the chicks, the football dudes giving you a hard time. Okay. But the crazy part is, and I quote, he spared the kids. I quote the kids. Who were good kids, so they could tell his story. Okay. That's what he said. Okay. So, what did you take on that? Bottom line, we say it's the we blame the parents, bad parenting, what have you. I really think it comes down to people need to communicate with each other more, and that's how it's going to solve mental illness. Meaning, I think everyone should see a therapist. I think ev- literally sure. everyone. Yeah. Because think of it, we get a. It's not because we're crazy. It's just talking about you get to weigh out your issues, weigh out your. Everybody's got issues for something, yeah, right? Yeah. You got issues, I got issues. We all got, and we need to get them discussed in a way yeah. that we don't a perspective we don't know about. Yeah, you start a podcast. <laughs> That's how this works, doesn't it? Hey, issues out but there. But I, I, I firmly believe that. Okay, like. Okay. Because. Say for yourself, you, you have issues with, with business, right. family, yeah. just overall, just Any kind, yeah. where you're going, where you're headed, future. Right. That's perfect for to see someone to talk about with, right. a neutral party. Right. So then they can get you to think things and see things that you maybe couldn't see from talking to just friends right. or whatever. So that's what I say for these, these high school kids that are just trying to figure themselves out and are, are too afraid to tell their parents because they're in that adolescent phase where there's like, you know, F mom, F dad. Right. I'm, I know everything. If we can get them in some type of a counseling situation where they can talk no holds barred with somebody about stuff like this, maybe that'll get them to get their mind off of just, it's either I kill them or that's it. It's, it's just, how does it get from like, I'm getting bullied mom and dad yeah. to I'm gonna kill everybody mom and dad? Anger. Right? Straight but the whole anger. thing, I think it comes on, okay, so I, I was talking to a customer about this, about this very topic. Yeah. And we just started talking about it, and I was like, he probably did, well, hopefully he told somebody, right? I'm getting bullied, the chicks are, like, not liking me, I smell like uh, peanut butter sandwiches or bologna. But do you, <laughs> tell, do you tell somebody? No, that's what I mean, do kids do that? I don't think they do. Some do, some don't, right? Right. Okay, then it's the teacher's responsibility as a teacher to reckon, because, dude, when I was a teacher, I could tell who was the bullies. I could tell who was the timid kids. 
Yeah. I could tell it was the athlete punk guys. I could tell it was like the, the sped kids. You know, the kids that, you know, need a little more attention and learning. Dude, instantly, I walked to the, walk into the room. First hour, I knew already it was everybody was. Like, dude, that's the punks. Did you that's the jocks. And you talked to each and every one of these students? Well, I was only a substitute. Well, you were a sub. Yeah. So, but I knew who they were, right? Right. And already, with a substitute, they already let loose. Okay. So, they're going to... So, I think as a teacher, but then it came down to the teachers don't get paid enough, right? So, since teachers don't get paid enough... Are they going to take the extra step to help the kid get bullied, right? right. They'd be like, Brad, just tell your parents, go see the counselor, right? Right. Like, oh, Mr. Mr. Right. White. They do have counselors. Like, you know, the football guys is picking on me. Like, oh, man up, boy. But so Texas too, right? Like, ah, Texas football. But then, right, so then you have that, and then you have, if they even want to go to the counselor. Yeah. These kids are probably not even going to go to the oh, counselor. Oh, yeah, because they, they, people find out. They just want to go home. Counselor. <clears throat> be like, oh, bro, why well, you went to the counselor? What, who you tell him? Who you tell him? Yeah. What? And then the kids that just want to go home. They just want to run home because they don't want to deal with these people. So it, it needs to be some type of a mandatory situation. So they just get the gats and they start spray. Oh, bro. You, MC Ren already. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, but that's what I mean. That's, they're going through these extreme measures because they're angry. They don't, know, they don't have any outlet yeah. to release their anger or their thoughts. No, in between steps before they, it gets to Exactly. The that's what needs. They, Zero to... Zero to a thousand real quick. Real quick, yeah. Look, they got rid of PE. They yeah. got rid of home economics. They got rid of art. They got rid of art. I just okay. talked to another artist that came in here. Yeah, he our programs are going down. So if you can get rid of that, why don't you put funding in, in therapy? Yeah. In mandatory, you go mandatory, once a week, yeah, yeah, yeah. therapy. Like small group or one-on-one -on -one if you can possibly pull that off. But even have home ec anymore? They got rid of home ec. Bruh. That's why, people, that's why kids now are different. Like they don't know how to tie a tie yeah. or sew or <sighs> even cook, right? Those... Wow. Change a tire, right? Simple wow. things like that. So this write is a, a different... Check. Write a check, for example. Write in script, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Right? But that's the problem. Wow. Things bro. have changed. We got to realize things have changed. And that's what's leading to this generation of this kind of shootings so we randomly. Have, we got to blame the... It trickles not all into the government. In a way. Right. School funding. School funding. Right. Not paying the teachers enough. Yeah. Teachers should be paid. Yeah. What not having what. enough teachers. Yeah. Not having enough programs for the kids because you can't just teach them math and be like, shoot. Right. Right. right? You gotta balance out the creativity, right? Like. So we need to see, we need to look at the stats of what, where these school shootings are, what is the average household income? Yeah. What is the, de the demographic yeah. of race? Yeah. Clearly, it's like a lot of these white schools. Yeah. But we need to look at the income and are they private well, schools? Well, because you know why? They don't report the black <laughs> schools. You guess? That's right. Exactly. That's right. So they're like, oh, exactly. Look, look at this, America. Oh, this is tragedy. This tragedy. is tragedy because our white people are getting shot. Yeah. It's been going on and they, every day. Hood, it's like, bro, every day is someone getting shot, bro. But, and it's not even, and, it's, and the funny part is, in that case, it's over nothing. Right. You look at me wrong? Bam. Right. It's a, it's a lot of that. Right? Like, you hear it in hip hop. I mean, we all right. heard it in hip hop. We don't experience it here. Here's more hand to fist to face, you know, still yet. Well, the moment it, God help us, it does happen here. In Hawaii, shooting. You're gonna see a big if there happen if there were if I don't want to you know, but I'm just saying if a school shooting were to happen on Oahu, yeah, all hell will break loose. Right. You're gonna see a lot of panic, and then you're gonna see a lot of frustration. But see, the thing is, the reason why I think it hasn't happened is Hawaii is different as in a society. Oh, right. Yes. As in that whole quote unquote freaking Ohana. Right. It's like because I was telling, I was talking to another customer about this. I said, if someone comes into my shop. A young dude, right? High school, middle school, watched him, and they look like this, this disturbed, disturbed, right? Oh, how's it, bro? What? How's your day, bro? You know, I just automatically, I'm like, "Why well, you good or what, bro? What? You know what I mean?" And then, even if they're about to like fight the dude, kill somebody, kill himself, whatever, it's, at least one dude that they don't even know who I am showed interest of like caring for him, right? Yeah. And that might make the difference to be like, okay, right? You know, maybe I'm gonna, you know what I mean? So I think in Hawaii, we do that. Even when you go to the store, you know, they make the one auntie helping you at times. Right. And you buy your steak plate. Right. Having a crappy ass day. You're like, oh, how you doing, honey? Like, oh, you need <coughs> lunch. And you know, oh, right. I feel a little better now, you know? That's why, I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why Hawaii no, that's doesn't a great... have. Because we are way more like family oriented. Right. More like aloha. Right. So I think that trickles down, even if it's the smallest touch of like, right. oh, bro, have a good day. Oh, 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 take that. Like, you know? And let's say you were about to like roll rage and freaking like right. run somebody over or something. Right. People are more calm, more, more caring. We're caring in general to strangers. In just general, right. Yeah. And yeah. that's a big factor too because what happens, this guy feels alone. Right. 
sinks deeper and deeper into being right. alone. Right. Nobody cares for him. No one likes him. Nothing. Parents don't understand him. Right. And leads to he has no outlet to tell this to anyone. So were you in high school? Did you even see bullying to a point where he throw in the garbage can, beat up the beat up the nerds? Did you even witness that in Hawaii high school? Very rarely. Right. And I was thinking rarely. about that too. Like people yelling, but nothing, no action. Like we had like back when I was in middle school, we had bloods and cribs. Yeah. And uh, the only, the worst it got was harassment for money. Yeah. The, the bigger Sole kids would be harassed us for money. That's it. Like, they, but they wouldn't beat us up. Right. Right. And I never see anybody get thrown in a trash can. Right. Like, I see people get teased. Yeah, there's teasing. Teasing is like that's <laughs> general. But I never see like the major ones where fighting. Yeah, fighting. Blood. Yeah, it was all scraps because more alpha male scraps. Right. Right. Things have changed though. Oh yeah, they have changed. I mean, I'm just saying Hawaii. We're not like. Well, it's a, it, plus it's a softer generation, as we've always talked about, right? That's why they go straight to the gun. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. That's true, because they don't know none of else. They don't kind of tie their shoe, they kind of make cookies. They're upset, they and they don't know how to do, they don't know yeah. what to do. So they're like, they figure, okay, my, my dad got a gun. Yeah. Okay, you know what? F all these guys. That's what happened. That's he took it. his dad's guns. Right. And he just went straight out with buck. Major problem. Major uh, problem. Tough, bro. Oh, I tell you. Tough, bro. Very complex problem. Okay, anyway. Oof. Moving along. What is after that? Royal wedding. Take time, waste time. Oh, we go from highs <laughs> to the low to the lows here. Yep. Okay. D did you watch this? Nope. Okay. The most I watched it is when shout out to DJ Mike D. He posted that um, he the put coming the to coming to America, coming yeah. to be right. over the wedding, and I said oh, I gotta repost this. Okay. So I reposted it. You know how many dang likes that thing got? Over four thousand. I've never had a post over four hundred. Well, I did, but, but like. Four, it might even be at like six or seven right now. Like on some crazy uh, like. Uh, you know what? But I don't care. I, I don't. Fred. All I'm going to say is this and then we move on. Yeah, 4,900 views. That's too many waste time views, bro. Let me just say this. This thing was at two in the morning, right? One in the morning, England time. Bruh. Live. I'm okay? watching the news right now. ESPA. So bruh. I didn't want to watch this because I could give a damn. I, I don't care either. I don't give a damn. I. I I hear about it after the fact that right. she's like a mixed race yeah. woman. A black and white. Right. So then they had a, they catered it to like right. they had a gospel, and then they had a uh, African American minister. Cool. Cool. So that's like, okay. Right. So right. So I, I I had a break from work, and I posted this on Facebook in my rant. Right. Which I, I know which you Facebook is follow, for. Which is for. I go home middle of the day. I see as I'm scrolling through the TV. I see them replaying the royal wedding. So I'm like, all right. I want to take a look and see what the hell is they this. They replayed it. They replayed it. On BBC, of course. Because oh, that's all they show, probably. That and right. Benny Hill. That and Doctor Who. Doctor Who is right. <laughs> so I turn this thing on. The minister is going on, right? This guy takes about like half an hour, 45 minutes, rambling on. It, it sounded like some infomercial to go join Word of Life. Oh, wow, bro. He wasn't even talking about the marriage. He wasn't talking about love. Nothing. It was and that long. They stood there that long. They, they're sitting. That's, oh. They were ready for this long speech. Oh. Sit down, everybody. Hey, shout out.